Little Woman 21 here with uh, my friend, well, boyfriend, Ben. <laughs> I'm just a friend. I'm sorry. I love you. I, I love you too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've got a channel of my own. Yeah, he's from Smoking Irish too. So, any of my subscribers, if you're into hookah, yeah, that go to his channel. We do things with hookah. I'll probably it's put awesome. like probably like a link in the description or something to his channel. But yeah. Yeah. So, today we're going to like, well, it was for yesterday. Cause it's like 12:15 now, but we just got finished with our double feature today of uh couple horror movies we yeah. saw silent hill revelation uh that was interesting movie and we just got back from sinister which awesome movie definitely <laughs> both of them makes you think yeah and pray to god you don't have kids don't have kids yeah. unless you want kids but then don't look into murders yeah. we're not going to reveal anything else other than that <laughs> yeah. don't worry there are no spoilers in this but it led us to making a video on um, something very important. Yeah. The, uh... <laughs> I'm just going to chime in every night. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I agree. I concur, doctor. <laughs> so five things a good horror or scary film should have. Yes. First... What 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 is? What do we first do is first like one? an actual plot. Yeah, a, a story is very important with horror movies. If you are going to make a, a kick-ass horror movie, it has to have some sort of story. Uh, the main characters have to be tangible. They have to have actual emotions mm -hmm. or some sort of drama. Well, not even on. not like they like not even like getting to that yet. It's just like you know you have to have. Like an actual plot, you can't just have random events happen and have no like correlation between the like no. between each event. Yeah. Like you have to have something leading up to something or a recap of that something happening. <laughs> if that made sense. Does that yes. make sense? Okay. It's no. kinda like in the Saw movies where you've seen the whole movie and then only at the end does Do the get, main character yeah. piece everything together and go, Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, that that's yeah, that's always good. So yeah, uh, number two. What was number two? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> dead silence. That's what number two. Yes, is. yes. We don't know what is number two. Oh, I think number two is like you have to have an actual villain. Yes, a good villain. A good, a, a good, very villain. good villain. Uh, whether it be a serial killer or like or something. You know, Paranormal. Uh, paranormal, spectral, whatever. Yeah, you know, not from this world. Even in, like, yeah. movies, like, alien movies, mm. you know? You have to have, like, you know... Something that... Something that'll scare the crap out of you, but still respect it in some way. Yeah, and <laughs> looking at myself in this camera, I just noticed something. What? Do you see it? it it's... It, it, hair <laughs> why are you so obsessed with your hair i'm sorry i saw no, it wait, you're the girl in this relationship <laughs> up and it's annoying look at it look, where is you it you are more obsessed with your hair than it. i am yeah this is i'm totally cutting this part out zach and i constantly have to put time and effort into making ourselves look pretty <laughs> i'm okay. not going to let you have play dates with him anymore <laughs> yes, you are too. Yeah, I know I am. His yeah. girl, his girlfriend's my best friend. Anyway, after that long tidbit of yes. nonsense, <laughs> see um, that's why I said this might be long. <laughs> well, we're only at like four minutes. Let's get on with it. Number three. Yes. Do you remember what number three was? Um. Relatable. Number relatable three and... is having a relatable movie. Yeah. Something to the effect that it's plausible in yeah. at least one scenario in the Something entire universe. Something to back it. Yeah, it could be anything from like an old folk tale from like centuries ago, maybe. Even, yeah, you know, exactly. Or... But they do their the good ones, like um, Spielberg and 
many others. <laughs> Except for M. Night Shyamalan. No, no offense to you, Shyamalan lovers. He's not lovers. really much of a horror movie. No, I know. I'm just saying. Yeah, he doesn't have, he's like... He's a plot twist guy. But his Everyone stories aren't, like... Some of his stories are just, like, not that plausible. No. Not really. But, like, yeah. Like, signs. Uh, an alien race that is able to travel galaxies, and yet they didn't do their research to know that there's water on our planet when it's 75 percent them no it's like isn't it isn't the earth like 75 percent water yeah yeah and <laughs> yet their weakness is water great job yeah how were they planning on getting around that i don't know <laughs> we'll just walk on land it's cool it rains what there's a lake no. we go to the one place where there's a lake who knew did they go pour the water into glasses? What? Why would they do that? Why doesn't it affect them? Shh, humans. So anyway, but yeah, you always have to have something at least remotely relatable. Yeah, if not completely real. Like something like yeah. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Those movies are always really gruesome to watch. Well, because it actually like, happened. Well, yeah. Well, well that it's based part, off of the yeah. true story. So they, it twist, is they twist it a little bit every single way. time they remake it, though. Right. But the original story stands true. I mean, like, you can look it up. Same with, um... Crap, what's that? There's a movie, like, you know, it's, um, a haunting of, like, this one kid with, like, the manifesting out of his mouth. Oh, that was, uh... What was it? A Haunting in Connecticut? Yes, yeah. A Haunting in Connecticut. Yeah, that was creepy too. <laughs> <laughs> that one was weird. Uh, the Paranormal Activity movies are all bullshit. Yeah, they really are. Not one of them. Sorry, is guys, whatsoever. don't watch number four. We haven't even watched it yet, and it's not really good. So let's move on yeah. to number four. <laughs> number four. You thought of this one. I did? Yeah. Um, timing. Ah, timing. Timing yes. and scaring you. Actually. Yeah, which, which, you know, you can always kind of feel out when you're going to be scared, when that thing is going to hit loud and fast, yeah, or when that, something's just going to yeah. pop out at you, and you're like, oh, fuck, you but, know. But since that started happening and people started finding They've it They've been offsetting the timing and when that's going to happen. To where you think it's going to It'll either be dragged happen. out. Yes, exactly. Where you're like, okay, when is it going to fucking hit? Oh, there it is. Uh, or it's or, before you even finish the ah, yeah, sentence. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, like, whoa, which like, is great. Yeah. I'm glad people are starting to pick up the whole timing thing. That is really nice. Uh, because like the older movies, like Friday the Thirteenth and everything, you know when Jason's machete is gonna come down and hack off the dude's arm or whatever, and you're just pretty much sitting there waiting for the the all in all. Ha ha! I called it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and you're just you're pretty much just like after like the fifth kill, you're pretty much just like okay, I'm just gonna eat like some popcorn and watch this yeah, day. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the the fifth. The and fifth final. is scare tactics. Like yeah. it pretty much How like you're scared. Yes. Um, in the movie that they had tonight, it wouldn't have been as scary if they hadn't used one simple trick that they used in, like, stuff like Friday the 13th. Very old like, school old movies. movies. Uh, but it still works, because they're bringing it back. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, an old trick for horror movies back in the day was to place underlying sounds or voices in the music of the movie. And if you listen carefully during a lot of the movie, um, you'll hear a voice, and it it's saying something almost intangible uh at sometimes it sounds like it's counting down and it might be actually counting down to a point where someone is supposed to jump out or it's supposed to make you feel like something's going to happen soon and it gets your hair standing on edge and you're you're going okay what's gonna happen what's coming what's coming what's coming and something might not happen and it, it just it's there to give you that sensation of oh crap what's going on but or It'll, keep you on edge yeah or it can even be saying you know be afraid be scared subliminal it's, messaging yeah subliminal messaging yeah. and it is used in movies all the time i, I don't know anymore but it was actually it, well I should it say was used was. tonight yeah like it, it was, definitely was used tonight it was used in it yeah 
I did at first, but then I kind of just thought it was, like, part of the music and crap. Like, it kind of blended in. Like, it happens yeah. because it is, like, their goal was to subliminally subject it, and I completely fell victim to it. <laughs> I yeah. was terrified, like, how many times? Like, three times? At least. <laughs> my at least. fingers were crushed <laughs> three times. I least. apologized. <laughs> but, yes. Um, so, the whole point of this, bringing him into my video, was we are total horror movie like people i'm not too much into the gore he's fine with it because oh, he's also care. watched human centipede and human yeah. centipede too <laughs> i don't like gruesome things there like, was one okay. thing in sinister that really made me jump but after i jumped it was more just kind of funny to watch mostly because you didn't see anything that actually happened other well, than i covered my eyes at that point yeah other than just someone on the ground and something horrible happening. <laughs> something... But it doesn't actually show it, apparently. No, it, it doesn't show it. But it but makes it you want was... to look away anyway. Yeah, you immediately you just go, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's bad. It's yeah. It was really, really messed. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you for joining us. Indeed. Yes. Um, okay, so this was Little, Win Little Woman 21 with Life and Whatnot. The five and, uh, things for horror films. Yeah. And I'm Ben from the Smoking Irish 2. Have a good night. <laughs> good night, guys. <laughs>